The first thing that we'll look at is sky enhancement. In this case, we're going to add um, a moon to the sky. So what you need to do is get a transparent PNG of the moon, rainbow, clouds, whatever it is you're wanting to add to the sky. There are plenty of free resources on the internet. Just ask Mr. Google. Drag your transparent PNG above your clip. Scale to whatever you think is appropriate and position where you'd like it. Change blending mode to screen and then adjust the opacity to taste. And as simple as that, I've added an object. Now in this case, the horizon is stationary. There's no movement up, down or left or right. So there's no need to animate the moon. So I've got another clip where the horizon is moving. So in order to do that, we need to right click, replace with After Effects Composition, save the file with your project files. So we'll import our transparent PNG. Move that to where we want it. Scale it down. You sometimes need to play around with the blend mode. We choose screen in this case because the sky is blown out, it just disappears. So you might just need to decide which blend mode suits best. But then what we need to do for the tracker to work is pick a high contrast point in the distance because we want this object in is in the distance. So we need to pick a point in the distance. So we'll open tracker, make sure we're on our source clip and we want to track motion and then move the track point to somewhere near the horizon that's high contrast. If you pick somewhere that's low contrast like there, After Effects just won't be able to track it accurately. The bigger you have these boxes, the longer it'll take to do the tracking. So I would start it with small boxes and then analyze forward. You can see the horizon is panning downwards after Effects is tracking that extremely well. So when that is finished, edit the target and make sure your transparent PNG is selected and apply and apply to dimensions X and Y. So what we just need to do here is change the anchor point of the moon because it's anchored it to the spot that we tracked, but we want it to be anchored up there but following that motion and then click preview so then you can just simply click save close after effects and now our moon tracks the landscape Hopefully you found that video useful. If so, then consider subscribing so that you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the thumbs up to help YouTube recommend this to other people. And if there's any topics you'd like to see covered or if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below and I'll try to answer them as soon as possible. Thank you very much.